quickly. Now, folks who have been to the dumpy Metrodome know what that hell hole was. Hmm, so once that- this stadium passed and it was actually, you know, voted on and passed, all the kind of extra add-ons that the, the only one they took off was the retractable roof. I'm telling you folks, go online and look at this stadium. It is basically the next out. edition of, of what you're seeing in Dallas. So Nino said it all rides with Teddy little hands, Bridgewater, <laughs> little hands. Hey, we well, need little hands to be the man. We really wait a do. minute he, now. He's a good kid. He's put in a lot of work this summer, man. So, uh, if you are a Teddy Bridgewater fan, this is going to be a real interesting year to watch him. If he stays healthy, God willing, man, this could be a real fun year from him. He's got a big smile on his face. He's ready to play football. So the funny part is, is that y'all ju- you paid for a new baseball stadium, didn't you? Target Field. Yes, and they- Reggie. And they suck, too. The Twins have been terrible. The so, Twins have been terrible for the past two to three years. Before that, they were making the playoffs while Cleveland was staying at home. So, you know, don't get it twisted, man. Don't get it twisted. You know, yeah, the Yankees have had our numbers in the playoffs, no doubt. But we have more recent success than your lame-ass tribe from the mistake by the lake. I don't know about that now. Yeah, we, well, we got, I, Was that some say. laughter in the background I heard, by the way? We're going to have to pull up some Was stats. Was that some on laughter that. in the background I heard, by the way? Did somebody so, agree with the sports governor in Kalamazoo, Michigan? A you, lovely you, young lady, by the way. You talk about how great Minnesota is and how lovely it is in the summer. Now, all of a sudden, you're talking about ninjas don't want to pay for a stadium. So First which off, is it, man? I, nobody, uh, cheap, cheap asses out there. Which one is it? They they spent one point three. They spent one point three million dollar billion dollars. Excuse me on this stadium. That's not cheap. Also, they they had to get through. There's Target Center renovations that are starting this year. They're basically tearing down the outside of Target Center to put up um, a new facade there, and it's going to be. You know, all glass, you know, one of those things so you can see inside from the outside, you know, that type of thing. See all the so, empty seats in that bitch. <laughs> oh, God. And by the way, Carl Towns, check out StarTribune.com, says he doesn't want to play anywhere else but Minnesota. So there oh, you God. go. Uh, but anyway, in all seriousness, man, that took a lot of getting through the city council as well. Because, okay. again, they have to go to the taxpayers and say we need a little bit of money to go spend over here at Target Center to do this. So now all Minnesota teams have their new stadiums. Gophers, Twins, Vikings, the the Wild over at XO Energy Center in St. Paul. <laughs> the Gophers? <laughs> Whoa! Who the hell would watch the Minnesota Gophers play anything? Uh, you would, Reggie. Now, wasn't it you, by the way, sir, that said, can't wait for me and Carla to come up there and watch a Gopher game? And, oh, by the way, the Govs front row seats. You want to start talking smack, them front row seats, are gonna, you're going to wind up watching on the TV out in the parking lot, man. Nah, I put it down as a bucket list to attend every Big Ten stadium, sir. All right? Now, hopefully, I'll probably come watch and play a MAC team because they, they, probably they should beat a MAC team or at least be competitive. Anything other than that, they're going to get their ass kicked. You know that, Vince. Hey, now Bama boys in here are talking too. Hey, Gov, did y'all celebrate when y'all got swept by my Braves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, and the, so I take it the Twins must have lost. Uh, the, it was a quick two-game series. The Braves came through here. As I was saying, uh, I was interviewed on Doug Stewart's show the other on uh, Monday. So, yeah, but, hey, we still got the World Series win, Bama. We got the rings from the – that's he, all that matters. He's also going after our Ohio State people. He said, there's no way uh, everybody from Ohio is an Ohio State fan. When I live there, everybody say OSU. So I guess Akron, Miami, Ohio, Ohio, Toledo, or Cincinnati has no fans in the stands. Um, Ohio's always been a, Ohio State, honestly, um, you know, team. Because you got Miami of Ohio, you got Ohio University, you got Cincinnati, but they're not, they're, they're not good. So, to be honest with you, I mean, majority of the fans and the people in Ohio have pretty much rooted for Ohio because for a while, they, those that was the only team that was actually, you know, decent on a regular right. basis that was competitive every single year. So, but, like, I mean, you know, Alabama wasn't always great either, sir. I mean, they went a long stretch without winning before you got um, 
Nick Sa- Nick Saban's lying ass. So easy there, Bama boy. And I hope you enjoy that ass whooping that you got from Ohio State in the championship game too, sir. Ooh, little sawed off going in deep. <laughs> hey, man, I see you got your boy C. Mick out there talking nonsense again. Minnesota couldn't beat a local city college. Man, please, please. Oh, <laughs> oh you know what you see? Uh, speechless said, for the hey. first time in a long time. The Gov is actually speechless. Over Wait a minute. C. He Mick's said, nonsense. He said when they put the glasses at the Target Stadium, all you're going to be able to see is the hot dog vendors rolling up and down the aisles. <laughs> oh, man, dog. That's like putting rims on a hoopty. <laughs> why, why, are you, why are you making renovations to, to Target Stadium and that team is just garbage? Target Center, by the way, is Minneapolis's arena. It's not just home to the team, man. You got concerts. You got everything that goes on, you know, like it does over at that lame Quicken Loans Arena. So <laughs> we just bringing it up to code, as the governor would say, homeboy. Yeah, somebody also said that if if the uh, Timberwolves don't start winning, my man Carl Anthony Towns will be jetting. Yeah, Clay so. Davis definitely said that. And, I, hey, I – Make no mistake, he is absolutely right because you can say what you want about whatever area you're living in, nice city, whatever, blah, 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 but you are here to win basketball games and to try and get rings. And, you know, I understand where where Towns is coming from. So, hmm. Yeah, I do too. Just like where Kevin Love was coming from and Kevin Garnett was coming from. Get me the hell out of Minnesota. That's where he was coming from. <laughs> so, yeah, I hear you. I hear what you're saying, man. I hear what you're saying. Um, sorry, I was distracted here. Had the kids kind of going at me through the glass here. And again, this is sports done right. Vince That's right. right. The sports governor coming to you live there. from the Situation Room. And Reggie Lawrence coming to you from a, uh, a bar stool somewhere. <laughs> That's why your family's practicing being a Minnesota Twins fan. Looking through the window. <laughs> to an empty room in one person. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You, what you no got to say about that, Vince? Nothing. Uh, I'm just letting your song play. No reason to oh, is, that, is that how it is? Yeah, Man, a, you better hope I don't come to the uh, TDS show. I'm going to pull a Chris Sales on your ass. I'm going to come in and cut all your Jolly Green Giant shit up. Reggie, if that happens, man, you're going to find out what it's like. I'm going to go OJ, and they ain't going to find my other <laughs> glove, brother. You do not mess with anything of my sports stuff. You come anywhere near my jersey, it's, it better just be get a, get a picture with a winning jersey. That's what it is with the Cubs. you know. And like I said, Cleveland, yeah, they're doing all right, but let's see where it is at the end of the season, man. All right, all right, my brother. Hey, well, we well, probably got to check out of here soon, don't we? Got to get rolling? Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, man, we've, we've actually gone over here on our time. I would like to thank everybody for checking out the sports and more show tonight. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't you go through a little bit of the uh, chat there before we get on out of here and give the chat room its proper due. First off, I got to say first, Thank you guys so much for listening. Me and Reg really appreciate it. We love doing the show for you guys. We are very happy to be on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. So, um, you know, big props to everybody jumping in there tonight. You know, Bama Boy, That Ninja, C. Mick, uh, Texas Ty. Um, who else am I missing? Clay Davis, Big Red Clay as Davis, he's going big by. Red. Yep. Um, you uh, also got nine oh the wino nine oh my man a new gentleman rupert Housie, and i hope i did your name right there brother the um, lovely milk and cookies denise the lovely milk and cookies and the lovely first lady of minnesota sports my wife angie Wright. i love um, me some miss Wright. yep she uh, easy man easy hey, um, no. <laughs> my bad <laughs> watch that now hey how you doing carla how you doing <laughs> But um, we got to we got to do our yeah. show though. We're gonna do this point and counterpoint. We, you yeah, and I got to get together on that. Girls, so it'll be fun. Girls want to do a little show for us here, but um, yeah, man. Everybody else out there, thank you guys so much for tuning into the sports and more show tonight. So again, make sure you check us out next week. Make sure you follow me, Vince Wright, the Sports Governor, at the Big Smooth One, the number one on Twitter. 
Make sure you follow not only this show, but my show, Sports Done Right, along with the Sports and More show on the Sports Done Right Facebook page. And also check out our X or our X Squad Affiliates dot com website. Uh, the Posse's Rolling Deep, our shows, uh, the Kicking It with KC show. Like I said, Spicy Conversations. She loves to help you out with the, some of that sex stuff after hours. And you know, Jersey Vern, Man De Leon. We got all kinds of, of hosts and, and good shows on that website. So make sure you check it out. Dollars, you got anything before we get out of here? Yeah, no, I want to say thanks for everybody for rocking with me, man. I apologize. I've been away for a little while. I'm um, just trying to do you know good things with the com- within the community and these these kids. But um, Vince and I will be back on a regular basis. Big shout out to our crew, hey, X-Squad and, affiliates. Uh, absolutely. Yep, and I got to say one thing. Clay yep. Davis says, Vince, if you go OJ on Reg, who's going to be your AC Cowlings? <laughs> I say Clay Big Red Davis is going to be the one driving me down the freeway. So tomorrow in the chat – you are Clay A.C. Cowlings Davis for one day, Clay. You got to do it for me, man. I need your help. I don't want to go. A big shout out to um, Real Cast Rangers. Absolutely. Even though, you know, we rock different logos, we still, you know, family, man. And uh, also Absolutely. thanks for our, uh, you know, the main man, Doug Stewart, for putting us on, man, having faith and trust in us. So appreciate it, brother. And uh, that's about it, man. I appreciate hey. it, Vince. Hey, I, I appreciate you, my brother. Uh, big speech by Hillary Rodham Clinton coming up, so it's going to be an interesting time here. And by the way, folks, make sure you follow the shows in Spreaker.com. Hit, hit those that damn like heart buttons. Button. So hit that heart button and join us in the chat. And, you know, and I apologize. I didn't even put the phone number out there today. We just got so hot and heated and. You know, this is the more part of the show, people. You know, we, we, we talk about other things besides sports. And, you know, we got in it on the, uh, on the BLM movement today and, and talking about cops. And that's what we do here. There's a lot of things that need to be talked about, and it's a tough thing to do a lot of times. So just keep that in mind. But we, we have a lot of fun here, and we're glad that you folks are part of it. In the immortal words of Jim Harbaugh, who's got it better than us? (laughs) Nobody. (laughs) Have a good night, folks. Peace. Good morning. My name is Bob. James Bob.